Hi. This um, tutorial series will uh, go through how to uh, use uh, Greengrass on a Raspberry Pi, accessing different hardware modules and sending data back um, uh, to the device from, from the IoT cloud in AWS. Uh, but this specific video will be to indicate what kind of things you need to do first. There are prerequisites for, for doing all these parts. Uh, so obviously you need the hardware, but uh, when you have your Raspberry Pi, uh, unless you have done it already, you need to download the, the Raspbian operating system and um, install that. Uh, so I will add the links to all the pages I show here um, below. But uh, this is a page where you download your version. Uh, you can download in one, I guess. I, I'm using this one. Um, so you need to download that and go through uh, the steps of installing this with the uh, with the server and uh, into an SD card and just uh, install it. Uh, when you have done that and have an operational uh, Respian file, then you need to install the Greengrass module from ABS. This will enable you to download Lambda functions in different languages that will uh, access uh, the hardware modules you will connect to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, writing uh, maybe stuff and also reading uh, information. So we will, I mean, we will listen to a button click and uh, uh, turn on an uh, LED, or maybe we will listen to a RFID sensor and send the data when you get uh, tagged for that. Uh, but you first need to install the Greengrass uh, module so you can do all these things. And then you follow the this tutorial. This tutorial will download the you will uh, download the actual SDK and, and run a, a script to install it. And when you run this, uh, you will need to, to uh, uh, first create uh, access keys in the ABS uh, console. And uh, there you go into the ABS console under IM uh, users and your user ID. And there you will go to the tab security credentials and click on create access key. Then you will be able to create your access key, and that will give you these two parts: the access uh, ABS access key ID and the secret access uh, key. Uh, and those are you can have a session token as well, but uh, I'm only using these two now uh, because they will not be stored on the device. They will just be used during the installation process. Um, so when you have created your access tokens and uh, you run the script, you first set these two with your access key and, and uh, secret, of course, uh, and export them into the shell, and then you run, you copy this one and you run that, and then it will fetch uh, all the things uh, into your Raspberry Pi. Uh, and you will go to a number of steps where you will need to add the name that you want for this Raspberry Pi thing, uh, and which group, the name of the group that you want to this to belong to. Uh, and these will be automatically generated in the ABS cloud using the security access keys you have supplied here, so they will be created automatically. Uh, so when you have done that, you need to do sudo revo, reboot, uh, to reboot, and then you actually need to write this again with your specific access keys, uh, so uh, and, and to be able to run the rest of the script. So that after you have run these parts, you will have Greengrass operational on your device. Uh, just to be able to run Python for for Node.js, you will need to do uh, a number of other steps. I will show that in another video, but uh, for now, Python will work anyway. So, uh, now you have uh, installed these parts and you have um, the um, uh, Greengrass installed on your module. So now you can just go to uh, to uh, your device and you can start uh, start the, uh, the Greengrass module on your Raspberry, and um, everything should be operational. Uh, so, and you start it actually by going to uh, this core. Uh, and there you will run sudo uh, something like that, I think. And it will stop. Uh, just one hour, obviously. Um, so then you have the module, the, the Raspberry Pi operational. 
but you will, before you actually will uh, be able to write, write the code and, and put these, these lambdas up, you will also need to download the SDK for the language you are going to use, Python or Node.js or Java or whatever. And that you will you can go to this page and then you have links to uh, Java, Node.js, Python. Uh, so for example, if you want to have um, Node.js, you can just go there and you can download the zip on this one. So because from this module you will need to uh, um, copy this one uh, into the project where you have your actual code, like your index.js file or your your handler.py or whatever you have, uh, because then in, in then you will need to bundle this this library together with your code files into a zip file to be uploaded uh, to uh, as a lambda into AVS, so you can deploy it onto, onto your device. But these are uh, the steps you need to do to get uh, Raspberry Pi operational, so you can start doing the, the rest of the steps in this uh, video tutorial. See you later.